Airbus A380, the biggest commercial plane in the world. It's so big that most airports can't accommodate the size of it. That's actually why you can't see it in the shot right now because the gate itself is so big that it's blocking the view of the plane. Can you all name the largest passenger airline in the world? Yeah, it's none other than Airbus A380. Wait, didn't that just go into hiding some time back? The legendary giant of the skies is making a grand return. Hmm, but what caused it to go into hiding mode? It is a colossal double-decker aircloft spanning the length of a football field, with wings that stretch wider than many city streets. After a brief hiatus, the A380 is making its triumphant comeback, promising a new era in air travel. But what's behind this remarkable resurgence? As the world's largest passenger aircraft, the Airbus A380 has always captured the imagination of travellers and aviation enthusiasts alike. With its spacious cabins, luxurious amenities and unparalleled comfort, it defined the concept of luxury air travel when it first took flight. However, in recent years, shifting market dynamics and evolving passenger preferences led to doubts about the A380's future. Yet, against all odds, Airbus has unveiled bold plans to revive this iconic aircraft, promising a new chapter in its storied history. But how does Airbus plan to breathe new life into the A380? From the bustling production lines to the awe-inspiring test flights, beyond the scenes of Airbus's ambitious revival efforts, with cutting-edge technology, innovative design features and a renowned commitment to excellence, the A380 is poised to reclaim its throne as the king of the skies. But challenges lie ahead, and the road to success may not be without turbulence. You know, there was a time when people were doubtful if the Airbus A380 still had a place in the skies. Some folks even said it was no longer needed. Big airlines like Emirates, Qatar Airways and Lufthansa who had planned to retire their A380 suddenly found themselves bringing them back into service. Why? Well, turns out there was a sudden surge in demand for flights, catching everyone off guard. So what caused this unexpected twist? Well, it's a mix of things. First off, travel bounced back faster than anyone expected. Then there were some hiccups in the supply chain for both Airbus and Boeing, which probably played a part. And let's not forget about the unique features of the A380 that airlines just couldn't resist. We mean, think about it, the A380 is like a flying hotel. It's got tons of space, luxurious amenities, and it's a favourite among passengers. Plus, it's super efficient for airlines to operate, despite its massive size. So, despite all the doubts and challenges, the A380 is proving everyone wrong and making a bold comeback. It's like the biggest comeback ever in the history of the aviation world, showing us that sometimes, you just can't beat a classic. Who knows what other surprises are in store for the A380? Only time will tell. The whole aviation scene took a real beating during the pandemic. But you know what's surprising? Travel demand bounced back way faster than anyone thought. Like, analysts were saying it wouldn't hit pre-pandemic levels until like 2025. As soon as travel restrictions started easing up, people were itching to hit the skies again, whether it was for a much-needed vacation or to finally reunite with families and friends. Passengers were ready to jet set once more. But here's the kicker. Airlines were not ready for the sudden surge in travellers. See, during the pandemic, airlines had to cut costs big time. That meant laying off a bunch of employees to stay afloat. But when travel demands came roaring back, they were caught off guard. Suddenly, they were short-staffed and struggling to keep up with all the travellers itching to fly. That's where the Airbus A380 swoops in like a superhero. With its massive passenger capacity, it's like the perfect solution for airlines facing this crazy demand. It's like having a giant flying bus to whisk everyone away to their destinations. So, for airlines lucky enough to still have the A380 in their fleet, it was like hitting the jackpot. They could quickly add more flights on popular routes and get passengers where they needed to go. It was a game changer in the world of aviation, proving that sometimes you need a big bird to handle the big crowds. So, airlines had a tough time getting their hands on those fancy new planes because of all the chaos in the supply chain. You know, like when you order something online and it takes forever to arrive. Well, yeah, that kind of thing. And here's the thing, bringing back those big, long-haul planes that were parked during the pandemic was no walk in the park either. It took airlines years to get them up and running again. But let's get back to those plane troubles. See, there were all these delays in making and delivering the newer, more eco-friendly models like the A350 and the 787 Dreamliner. So airlines had no choice but to stick with their older planes, like the A380. Now, a lot of people say that these older planes are kind of clunky and not as fuel efficient, but hear me out. Even though the A380 is getting up there in the years and guzzles a bit more fuel, it turned out to be a lifesaver for airlines struggling to keep up with all the folks wanting to fly. 
without those shiny new planes they wanted. The A380 was like a trusty old friend stepping in to save the day. And you know those super busy airports like London Heathrow? They're always packed and they needed a hand too. That's where the A380 came in handy. Its massive size meant airlines could cram in more passengers, even with limited runway space. Take Emirates, for example. They've been rocking the A380, using it to its fullest potential, and they're so sold on it that they're even talking about a brand new version for the future. It just goes to show, sometimes the oldies really are goodies. Also, Etihad Airways, based in Abu Dhabi, had actually planned to kick their a 380 fleet to the curb due to the pandemic and some restructuring they were doing. But surprise, surprise, with a sudden surge in travellers, they changed their minds and started flying those big birds again, especially to hotspots like London Heathrow and even announced routes to New York. Neighbouring Qatar Airways had similar plans to ditch the A380, thinking it wasn't worth its post-pandemic. They had so many people itching to fly again that they had to bring the A380 back into action to handle all the passengers pouring through Doha. Now, let's talk about Lufthansa. They've always been big fans of the A380, but when the pandemic hit, they decided to sell some of their planes and say goodbye to the A380 for good. But, surprise, surprise. Like the others, they found themselves in a pickle when new planes they were hoping for got delayed because of supply chain issues. So they had to dust off their A380s and put them back to work. These airlines aren't alone. Many others in the industry face similar dilemmas, all because of those pesky supply chain problems. But hey, when push comes to shove, the A380 proved it still has its place in the skies. Looks like it's back here to stay, at least for a little while longer. Airbus and Boeing have definitely had a hand in bringing back the A380. You see, airlines were all set to get these shiny new planes, but then they ran into some delays. That left them with no choice but to stick with the older A380s for a bit longer. But you know what? The A380 can still do a pretty good job, especially when it comes to carrying lots of passengers. But as more of these new planes start showing up, it's got us wondering how long the A380's comeback will last. Surely it's doing great now, but will it keep up the pace? Especially as more people start flying again, especially in crowded areas and airports with a limited space. Airlines might find it really handy to have a big plane like the A380 around. Yeah, it's got flaws and there's no denying that. But you know what? It's still a favourite among passengers, especially now, after everything that's happened with the pandemic, the A380 has made quite the comeback. Just look at how many airlines said they were done with it in 2020 and 2021, only to bring it back into service now. It's pretty wild, right? Now airlines are flying the A380 left and right and they're loving it. They're even expanding their A380 fleets to meet the demand. Would you like to take an A380 flight? Well, do share your thoughts with us in the comments below. And also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you all.